Hello, hello. Here we are for another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, so last episode I went a little crazy, as you may may have noticed. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest you see it. It's a little different from the other episodes. Um, to be 100% honest with you, so the episode was 20 minutes long about, um, but I spent over an hour and a half looking for a village, and I found not a thing. Uh, so somewhere around 40 minutes in, I just kind of accepted that and went with it. And uh, I guess it's kind of a blessing in disguise that I ended up jumping off that cliff because I would have had no way back. Um, not going to do that again. Uh, we're going to be here building again. Um, having died, we did lose a lot of stuff. Lost some diamond pickaxes, a lot of tools. But it's mostly, mostly stuff that could be replaced. And for the, the, the case of building, uh, it was nothing too too bad. As you can see, I already have tools. I had plenty of iron. I made a new set of armor. Uh, the one thing I went out beforehand and got was clay. I replaced some of the clay and food. Um, so now we're kind of all back to where we were. And I suppose the first thing we're going to do is build... A storage house. Now I made a suggestion about going and building sort of like a hut on top of that island and a lot of you seem to like that idea and building a bridge across to it so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, like I said aside from grabbing the brick I have done no preparation so we're kinda going by the seat of our pants here. I know we can use this stuff. We have dirt cobblestone. We can also work on the tree a little bit. Like I said, I like that idea of just working on it. It doesn't look that great right now. But one day it can look amazing. So, first things first, let's cover this up. Because this, I keep falling well, I don't fall in, but I get very close to falling into it. There's some coal in there, but nothing that we'd really be missing. Alright, then we're safe. There you go. So, seeing as this is a sort of geometric game, we can't really do a... Hey, how you doing? Nom, nom, nom. Uh... We need to make this straight bridge here. This looks like a good place to do it. And what I would do is I'll make it three wide. Yeah. But it should probably be raised, right? Because we're going to need to go over it. Or go under it, I should say. Now we'd start going down at this point, but since it's going to be at the top of the hill, might as well stay up here. You can build a pathway into the side of the mountain. So it would be like that. Obviously, that is a really ugly bridge but the idea is we'd widen it out to be three wide maybe put like fence posts so you can't fall off the edge and then we could carve this out so that it leads up to here which is where we can build and let's get rid of the dirt on top of this you'd come up there and then this would be the entrance so what we're gonna do is now let's eat okay now let's um what do we have a lot of we have a lot of dirt but I don't want to put it down just to have to pick it all back up again 
Let's use stone. We're going to lay down an outline. <clears throat> Just to give you kind of like an insight as to how my brain's working in terms of this stuff. So this needs to be all dug out. go up here to this level. And to that level. Okay. So this is our stairway up. So you get up here, turn, bam entrance. So the doors can be this is three up. Uh night falls, so let's get inside before creepers. Oh and I remember that tip I got about the bed being obstructed. That's why I spawned back at my spawn point. I need to fix that. In fact, let's do that right now. So we, from what I gathered, it was because I had half blocks around it. So why don't we do this? There we go. So it should be good now. We'll use this as a placeholder. general, I think, layout. The idea is we can line the sides of these with, uh, with shelves, uh, chests, and then this whole thing can be glass, so we can look over this nice view. And I think, how does this work out? So we got two, one, two, three. So you got three, each side six, you could double that up, twelve chests, way more than enough. Um, so that should be good. Let's do... I wonder how this looks. I'm going to have a brick floor. we got plenty of brick. And we already have a, a brick building there. I don't want to do two. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a brick floor. And this is what I'm going to do. First of all, just to keep myself sane. We're going to shift this one back so that it's even. We can put the chest in there, the chest in there, and the chest in there. So everything else can be brick. Here's an idea I have. Um, uh, maybe I'm thinking a little too far ahead. What if we um, built sort of a 
an underground system of tunnels between all these buildings too so we can move around at night without having to worry about mobs or we could just encase this entire thing in a dome no that would take forever let's not do that that'd be crazy or not or yes it would be but maybe not let me know That's plenty. So what do we need? We need... Six for now. We need twice that. We need twelve. I'm dumb at math. Oh yeah, I also lost my level 11 status um, I guess that doesn't matter much since I wasn't going to be enchanting anything anytime soon but kind of a bummer oh well got a door great now let's drop these guys All right, well, the dirt's visible, so I guess I'm going to go put brick on those. Now, I want to put the next set of them up here, and they need a set above. So I need to go at least one, two, three more layers up before I could start putting roofs. Oh. oh, well, we got plenty of this stuff. Also, um, I'd like you guys to give me some suggestions on, um, if you want, suggestions on a texture pack. Um, I know some of you have been mentioning it. It's something I've been wanting to do, but I keep forgetting. Um, so, if you throw those in the comments... I'll take a look at a few and pick one out. Maybe we could change it up every once in a while so it stays fresh. And I guess we could throw some torches for now just so there's light. But it looks like this night, this day is turning into night. The important thing is now that the chests are there, I don't have to worry about space. Hello, Steven Vince. Also, I have to say, uh, the last last week's episode, uh, totally worth doing just to see all you guys uh, naming the dog before the end of the episode without realizing what was going to happen. Um, but at least we have names picked out beforehand for when we do find one that will hopefully live. All right. Let's see if this this helps. There you go. It's not obstructed. Nice. So I've uh, I seem to have run out of most of what I would need to keep working on that. Let's see if there's skeletons, which means there might be creepers. Nope. So in the meantime, let's grab some of this and shift focus for a little while onto stuff. In fact, perfect that there's skeletons. Maybe there's some bones. We get some bone meal going. Oh, also, I was thinking of uh, after that little escapade looking for a village. I was thinking of dropping this save file into a map editor just to see, or not a map editor, a map viewer, just so I could take a look and see how far we traveled. If you have any interest in that sort of thing, uh, 
let me know in the comments and um, I could edit it into, into the video so you can see kind of where I went and I figure it might seem a little bit like cheating because I could find a village in the map viewer and then you know it's kind of like a fake victory of finding one uh, although let's be honest I couldn't find one that episode I don't think they exist on this map at all This seems like by far the messiest thing to build. Um, and I guess maybe it's just in contrast to such a clean cut geometrical game. But it's like there's no there's no planning that's going into it, which I like. The one thing that is a little annoying is I end up having to rebuild a path up here every time because each new tree just kind of distorts it. But the idea is at the very end, once we have them all in, we just kind of fill it all up and put one clear cut ladder to the top. So this is getting pretty good. I'd like to go a little bit higher. I don't want to get above the clouds. Let's put one more right there then what we can do is for the meantime make it hollow all right we got rid of all of that. You'd think after last episode, I would learn my lesson about just jumping into water, but it's the only way down. Look at that. It's getting taller. You can really see that it is just blatantly trees on top of trees right now. But uh, what I'll do for next episode, next week's episode, or this week's, I guess, uh, is collect a lot more of those leaves and then fill it in. Um, and hey, with this time of year, maybe we'll figure out a way to make it a little Christmassy. I don't know how. Um, I'm thinking next week's episode, if you guys approve, is I will gather way more resources beforehand, first of all. And we will redo this farm. We will fix this, make it nicer, this uh, dock here. We will finish this building completely. Um maybe touch this up a little bit this is kind of looking ugly we'll do it all with a new texture set texture pack and uh, maybe work on this a little more that might be a full episode all this stuff but maybe maybe we can work on this a bit and put like a nice flat all glass viewing area on the top or near the top and then start filling this out so that's the possibility or I could go adventuring um, as always, let me know, and what you guys want to see most is what we will see. Until then, have a great week, guys.